Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and as you notice, I am back to my old setup, but that's not why you guys are here. Well, what we're gonna be doing today is overclocking past the hard limit of the 1.4 gigahertz on the Raspberry Pi 3B. Not the B+, but the B. So let's get started. So the reason why I say there's a hard limit on this guy is because the VDD core, the voltage that goes to the core, is capped at 1.4 volts. And anytime that we try to surpass the 1.4 gigahertz, it either goes to a kernel panic or issues. But some of you might get lucky and you do have like a good chip that could actually go to 1.4 and it runs fine. But in my case, I can't get past 1.37. Uh, anything above that, it'll just kernel panic. A while back, I did some research on this and realized that you could actually apply direct voltage to the CPU. Now this was on a Raspberry Pi 1 and they were able to get the 900 megahertz a little bit higher. And then I did more research recently and somebody else did something very similar by applying voltage to the Raspberry Pi 3Bs. Now they did, they went out crazy, a power supply, uh, nitrogen cooling and everything. But my point is just to attempt this and see if it is possible. Now, let me show you my current setup and what I did. All right, so as you can see right here, uh, if you remember from my vlogs, I actually was talking about this guy. This is the reason why I got it. Um, this is gonna apply the voltage over to the Raspberry Pi. Now, if you take a look at the Raspberry Pi, I have it soldered to the C163 chip, and it's on the positive terminal on that guy. And then the ground, I just grounded it to one of the back plates on these um, the network adapter. Behind, I have the screen, and right now, as you can see, this guy is off, so you're seeing zero voltage. But as soon as I turn this guy on, you're gonna see the voltage being applied. All right, so before we do anything, I'm just gonna keep this guy off and show you what I'm talking about, the hard limit, okay? And as soon as I do, this is on 1.4 gigahertz, okay? So if you guys don't know about uh, overclocking the Raspberry Pi, you could actually just go to the boot config. So I'm gonna show you right now. Uh, sudo nano slash boot slash config dot txt. And if you take a look at the bottom of that, so as you can see, this is 1.4 gigahertz right now, and it's over voltage to eight, which means it could do a maximum of 1.4 volts. Let's get this back out. And I'm gonna attempt a sysbench with 20,000 primes. Here you go. And as soon as it tries to run, give it a minute. There we have it, a kernel panic. And that's from the 1.4 gigahertz and I can't run through suspension. All right, so I'm gonna reboot this guy and apply voltage this time and I'm gonna do about 1.5 volts or 1.6 and then we'll see if we could get past the 1.4. Okay, we're booted right now and I'm gonna do pi. Clear the screen. This is still at 1.4 but this time I'm actually applying voltage as you can see on the screen over here. So, I am going to do the sysbench again. And I'm just wishing myself luck. Wow, that kernel panicked even faster. So what I'm going to do now is actually apply even more voltage to 1.6 volts. All right, so I ran into another kernel panic. And as you can see, it's actually uh, over temperature. So what I'm going to do is just run a fan towards it. Hopefully that could uh, help solve the problem and then run another test. So as soon as I pop the fan on, it started to go away. So I think we're good with this type of setup. I got the little fan going on. All right, let's try this again. All right, round three, let's see. I'm applying 1.675 and you see it's dropping, so it must be draining, like it's using it right now. Yes! Success! It did it. it. It did it. It definitely worked. And it was running at 1.4 gigahertz. And I applied voltage. Now let's see if we could get past that and, and go up a little bit like 1.10, uh, 1.41 or 1.42 or 1.45. Oh, oh, this is good. Look at this. Definitely worked. It's successful. It didn't KP. Kernel panic. And that's the setup. Ah, oh, sweet. Sweet. All right, let's let's 
modify the config file, we'll add a couple of more megahertz to it and see if it could do it. Because at 1.4, it wouldn't even do it just bone stock. All right, let's try this. Going back to the boot config.txt file. Oh man, this is exciting. And um, I'm just gonna go over by a little. So I'm gonna do 20. How about 1.42 gigahertz? Sometimes this might not even boot, but I have confidence it's gonna boot. And I don't know about the whole um, running the sysbench, but very promising, very promising right now. Yeah, see I see this fluctuate. I don't know if it's from my, my voltage thing or it's because it's drawing. And you know, when it draws that little bit, it just flickers. So right now, I'm gonna show you because I have a little utility. CPU status, max speed is 1.4, 1420. Right now it's currently running at 1.2 volts, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. So I'm gonna run a sysbench again. It worked. 1.42, okay. 1.42 at 1.675 volts. <sighs> let's see how much I could go. Let's let's try to bump it up a, a little bit more. 1.5, let's do 1.5. So I broke the hard limit of 1.4, which I am, this is successful so far. I don't know how far I could take it because what I was reading on certain articles, they were saying to use a higher gauge wire. I'm not using a thick gauge wire. It's just a, a little thin, tiny wire like this, but it's still applying the voltage because I could see this dropping when it calls for stuff. But uh, so far, so good. Uh, it, it seems like it's working. So I'm, I'm gonna try this again. Now, drop the voltage a little bit because I don't think I need that much yet. 1.7 and change, power it up. It's at 1.45 gigahertz right now, and let's see if it boots. You can see it's fluctuating because it's drawing. Even though it's 1.8 at my uh, voltage power supply, bench power supply, it's doing that weird stuff over there. So even if I unplug the USB, it's still powered on, you can see. See, that's how you know it's, it, it's, it's connected. I'm going to go back to 1.6 and power this on. It drains it down to 1.5. Let it boot. Okay, I'm gonna run a sysbench on this guy, but as you can see, the voltage is 1.59. I'm gonna bump it up a little bit to 1.6 something. Run sysbench. And hope for the best because it, it, it should, I am di directly applying voltage, but and it should not KP, <laughs> I'm hoping. Oh man, I know this works. I know it's gotta work. It's just, I'm, I'm missing something. So what I'm gonna do right now is test something really quick. I'm gonna power this guy off, the power, bench power supply. <laughs> just raising the voltage, KP the, the CPU. So I can't go past 1.6, that's what I'm playing around with. I was just slowly incre incrementing the, the voltage to see if it would affect anything. And look, without even doing anything, it just KP'd. <laughs> okay, so I can't get past 1.6 volts. If I go past 1.6 volts, it automatically KP's. So I think the max I could do is 1.6 volts. And then I'll, I'll see if I could run a, a another sysbench. Before I was just pumping power into it, thinking uh, it would do it, but um, let's do a screen. So screen is a utility where you could split up the 
you know the bash and stuff like that so control a c create a new bash control a shift s split it vertically control a tab control a n i'm gonna watch the cpu status right there I don't know if you guys could see it, but um, it's 1.5, 1.45 megahertz. I'm gonna slowly bump up the voltage to 1.6. Okay, since so far no KP. Dial it right there. I'm gonna do a sysbench. Yeah, I can't get past that. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I need a higher gauge wire because the voltage is fluctuating. Um, and maximum overclock rate I was able to get is 1.42. Uh, I am going to still play around with this idea because I already soldered everything on there. But I'm going to use a higher gauge cable and cooling is also a factor. So I'm going to be playing around with those two elements and see if I could surpass that speed. And I will revisit this video again basically trying it all over. Now, this is a baseline video. Basically, I tried the first attempt. You know what I did. You know what I had to solder to get to this point. So the next video will be a short update video to see how far I actually took it because I'm probably gonna put my water cooler back on there. Uh, it does have an issue with cooling. I do see it fluctuate even with the fan. And I don't want the fan to be drawing because it's actually drawing from the board which might affect what I'm also doing. And as I'm pumping up the voltage on this uh, power supply, the fan is actually increasing in speed as well. So this is directly coordinated with whatever's going on in there. So, um, so far what we know is that it is plausible. It, it does seem to work. Uh, the hard limit on this now is 1.6 volts. Anytime I go past 1.6 volts, it seems to want to just KP. So that's my limit. And I have to play around with the overclocking to see slow slow increments or the cooling issue or maybe i need to find a better gauge wire uh, most uh, a lot of those elements i'm going to be playing around with so thanks for watching this video if you guys enjoyed it please hit that like button if you guys have any questions about this or want me to try something else or attach it to something different or try a different board let me know in the comments below i'm probably going to stick with this board because i already did all this to it uh, if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. Furthermore, uh, I know you guys are watching the vlogs and I've been putting up vlogs up. Uh, it's trial and error for me. Uh, I want to release more DIY workshop videos. And I'm trying to find the right area of time versus how much I should record. So bear with me for a little bit until I kind of find my, uh, you could say, style. Of recording those vlogs and as always hack till it hurts so the raspberry pi is actually being powered by pearl charger this thing is a beast it does 2.7 amps per port and i've tested it each port does do that and it delivers a maximum of 50 watts i'm telling you this this thing i'm going to be doing a review on this guy soon so keep your eyes peeled for that